Hi everybody. Uh, as you can see, I've changed a bit of decor. Uh, you can you can see it's not my original place where I'm, I am at. It's because today I'm bringing you somewhere extremely special. I've been invited by Sikam, one of the biggest housing manufacturers in the world, to show you how they build some of the craziest housing in the world for super deep diving. So come and follow me. We're gonna see around what they are doing. Sikam was created by Harald Hordosh in 1989 and is one of the oldest underwater housing manufacturers in the world. They are well known for their handmade full silver finish underwater housing. Uh, if, you, if you take, if you have it in your hands, it's very simple to use. You have the shutter here, you have the front dial here, mm -hmm. and you have the the record button, for example, for the GH5 here, or normally you have also the AF on or mm -hmm. AF uh, lock button yeah. here. And here you have the, the wheels for zoom and focus. So, uh, and what's very important for me is it's like playing a piano. So you have all the main functions in one hand. And if you want to change, for exa example, the focus point, we have also put out all these uh, buttons mm -hmm. here. So you have up, down, right, left. This is uh, on all housings, you see, is the same. Up, down, right, left. You have the front, the back, the shutter and of course on the small housings we have only uh, focus or zoom. So how long do you take on one on one housing like this uh, to build it from let's say like from start like when you receive it? Uh, from the hours mm -hmm. it's it's approximately so 20 25 hours. Wow that's a lot of time actually. Yeah. All handmade. The work on the on on the on the parts is quite difficult because uh, we get it in a raw uh, a raw uh, piece of uh, uh, machined uh, aluminium. Mm -hmm. Then we are doing the surface. This is done through us. This is a a, a kind of sandblasting thing, but not a regular one. It's, it's it's a very special one. We have developed this when we developed the silver surface then it has to be anodized by an anodizing company mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, seal the whole thing which a mic with a uh, with a very special uh, fluid which is closing all the micropores and <clears throat> after that it had has be has to be hand painted inside before the flock comes in hand painted yeah, you cannot do this uh, you cannot do this uh, just spraying because of course you can do it but then you have to cover everything and this is more work as to just to to paint it with a brush and when it's dry then you start to paint again with the um, how is it called the glue mm -hmm. of the of the flock material then you put it down you connect it to a, a, a high a high high voltage flocking machine, mm -hmm. and then the flock is uh, put inside. After drying it, you have to clean it, and then you have this kind of of surface. The first advantage is if you open the housing and there is a drop of water, which can fall in mm -hmm. will not fall in it will be as absorbed from the from the flock the second thing is you avoid reflections uh, the third thing is if you really have a flooding on the housing you can put one uh, small cup of coffee inside and it's not swapping around so it it absorbs it and it's not Swapping around, and the f uh, fourth thing is, of course, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, and you see, it is on all the housings. Mm -hmm. is, is, is the same system. So, I I told you before, there are 
many small difference mm -hmm. differences to the other housing manufacturers. Mm -hmm. One you see here, all the shafts, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the shafts going through sleeves are made separately. You see, they are not just drilled into the housing, mm -hmm. But this is a hardened material where the shaft is going through. So if this is worn out after maybe 10 years or if you don't have the camera this long, it is possible to drill it out and to replace it. So if it comes to the service and there is a corrosion mm -hmm. here, because a lot of people really don't give a shit on maintenance, the, uh, the, the, the first thing I'm doing is always this. Mm -hmm. And if it tastes salty, I exactly know that uh, they don't care. Yeah. So, and of course there can, can be some corrosion here, but this is not a problem. We just put it on the machine, we, we drill it out and we mount a new one. Mm -hmm. So it, if the housing, these, these two housings here are serviced housings. So, um, the, these housings look after uh, a use of three to five years like, like new. This is, 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 is we, we are changing everything, we are making uh, new labels on it. Uh, so that the, the, the client who receives it back really has a pleasure to use it again. The first Seekim housings, they had just a, a thread. Okay. You have to... And the problem on the thread is, it stops wherever it stops. Mm -hmm. And on the onboards, this is not good, because if it stops like this, mm -hmm. or if it stops like this, this is not good. Mm -hmm. So, we were thinking about a different system. The problem, on a bayonet used in underwater housings is, you need to have an O-ring. And mm -hmm. if you need to have an O-ring, you cannot do it like this and this. Mm -hmm. You have to press the O-ring into the ceiling surface. And mm -hmm. this is quite difficult because sometimes you press it like this, it's not straight then the o-ring can pop out on one side uh -huh. and uh, and it's not sealed so what we were thinking we want we want to have a, a thread combined with a bayonet that it always stops on the on the specific place and so we created the Seacam bayonet which is very easy to mount you don't need to press it in. Mm -hmm. You just put it in here, this part to the one o'clock position. You turn back until it clicks. Okay. And now you turn the port until it stops. And you see it stops in the right position. Wow. So you don't have to mm -hmm. press and to lock it. Mm -hmm. You just have to, to turn it, you see? Mm -hmm. And the O-ring, if you, if you have a look at mm -hmm. the O-ring here, is pulled in automatically in the seedling surface and the port stops at the correct position. I hope you liked this deep dive in underwater housing. Uh, believe me, I absolutely loved it. And I can't thank Sikham enough to have opening their door today. Uh, believe me, they are going to be featured on the channel really, really soon. That's everything for today. I hope that you liked it. Uh, but if you did, please consider subscribing as there will be way more underwater content soon. And um, have fun, stay salty, 